cinnamon roll, cinnamon buns, cinnamon scrolls. Just lovely with a coffee, with a tea, for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I love Cinnabons. Start by putting your dries, the flour, the sugar, the salt, into your mixer bowl. Now note, we're putting them in separate parts of the mixer bowl. And the yeast is going in here, and that's going in another part as well. We don't want those mixing until the last possible moment. Salt, for example, actually inhibits or kills yeast. And we learnt this from our commercial bakery where we made thousands of loaves every day. Next, take the water and the egg, give it a good mix, and in that goes, and you'll note that that goes again into a separate portion because we don't want the yeast to start activating until we start to mix it. So again, our warm, lukewarm milk uh, goes in there, and this is our high quality vanilla extract. Once you've got all of these in, put in your dough hook and then you're ready to start mixing. Oops, I forgot the butter. Who wouldn't want butter? Start the mix off slow, gently, so that you just bring all of the ingredients together and then you can slowly increase the mixing speed. Total mixing time we spent was about five minutes. Okay, so you can see here that the dough mix is still slightly sticky and just sticking to the side of the bowls. Out it comes and then what we're going to be doing is kneading the dough. So you kind of push down with one palm of your hand, just like push down here with one palm of hand, use the other hand just to bring it back and then repeat that process. We needed this for about two or three minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And the test is it starts to form into a ball and you can see when you pat the top of it, it springs back. Next, take your bowl and spread some vegetable oil around the bowl. And we're going to be putting the dough mix in here to prove or rise. And by putting that oil in, what it does is it stops the dough sticking. Just give it one last test that it's ready. And you can see we push with our fingers here and you'll see those indentations basically start to disappear. What you also want to do is cover it with some plastic wrap. Now a trick here is if, and what Rose is saying here, if you have a shallower bowl, then you would also want to spray some cooking oil onto that plastic because if the dough rises up and touches that plastic, you don't want it sticking. Take a tray and spray again some cooking oil there, put on some parchment paper. The dough, which is doubled in size, first sprinkle some flour on your bench because you don't want the dough sticking. And we're going to take out the dough, get our rolling pin ready, and we're going to start to roll the dough into the shape that we want for the cinnamon scrolls. So you start to form it into that log and what you're looking at is how many rolls you're actually going to be making. So Rose is just using my hand there to try and get an estimate of is it going to be long enough to cut 10 rolls of a medium size because that's what we're going to be making. Okay, so we formed the roll to approximately the right length that we estimate for 10 cuts to make 10 individual Cinnabons. Now we start with the rolling pin and flatten and work the dough out into a rectangle. Again, we want to keep the length and we want to flatten it out so that we can roll that up and have all the cinnamon and the butter inside the roll. Roughly about one quarter inch thick. So once you've got it to the right size that you estimate, is you take the cinnamon and the sugar, give it a bit of a mix around, but first we're going to put on the butter. And this is what makes it soft, fluffy, and really taste well. So take the room temperature butter, use a spatula as we're doing here, and liberally put it all over quite evenly on top of your dough.
And now we're going to repeat the same process for the sugar and the cinnamon. Use the best possible cinnamon you can because that's what gives it the beautiful aroma of these hot beautiful buns when they're made. So take the cinnamon and sugar mix and again sprinkle it around. I'll speed the video up and you'll see basically we cover every piece of the dough. It just starts to look yummy. Okay we're nearly there. We're getting ready to roll up the cinnamon rolls. What Rose is doing here is just pushing down that edge because that's the edge that we're going to use to seal the rolls together. We're going to be starting to roll from the other side. So you take it here and you just step by step, gently, easily start to bring it together, making sure that you actually get it rolling on top of each other, as you can see here. And again, you can work bit by bit, working your way across. There's no rush. It's, you don't have to hurry. You just do it so it rolls up nicely. Now as you get to the end here, you can see why we've just got that little flat section so that it can seal against each other. Cut off the two ends just to make it even, then start to do your mental division to get 10 spaces that are relatively even for each of the Cinnabons. You can see here we're just marking them off. Once you're comfortable that you've got 10, then away you go and cut, 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 and we're going to be getting into the exciting part where we're putting them in the tin ready for baking. Now. You'll notice here, we've got them in the tin, but suddenly we thought, oh, that tin or baking tray is too thin. Because what we need to do before we put them in the oven for the final time is again, put them aside for another hour and let them prove and rise. So we swapped to a different baking tray, which you can see is slightly higher. And what we're also going to do is covering that with some plastic wrap again. This is after they've proven, so you can see without even baking, they've come together, they've risen. The next step is to make the cream cheese frosting. What we're going to do is take some confection sugar and some plain cream cheese, mix it all together with a spatula. If it's still a little bit thick, add a little bit of water just to get it to that right consistency and then you'll be ready to put it on top of the Cinnabons. Okay, here come the cinnamon buns. Oh. Now at the end of the cooking process watch them so that they don't burn because they go from perfectly made to burnt in about five minutes. So you do need to watch them and bring them out when they're just this lovely brown color. Let them cool just for a couple of minutes and then you're ready to start liberally using the spatula just to put on top of these beautiful smelling buns the cream cheese frosting. So we hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. And again, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.